Ông quý chọn. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The hearing is back in session before the chamber gives the floor to the defense team for the accused. La chambre va donner la parole aux équipes de défense des accusés. Chamber would like to inform cela, parties and the public that Elle informe les parties et le public during the hearing this afternoon the judge de has midi, personal business and he is not able to attend this là, court hearing after the deliberation and discussion with the judges of the bench the chamber decides juge, to assign the judge too many to replace uh, judge you in this afternoon session. Cet this decision is based on 79. Uh, this decision is based on internal rule 79.4. And now the chamber gives the floor to the defense team to resume the line of Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours, Council. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, I have a few more questions uh, that I would like uh, to put to you. Um, before the lunch break, we were speaking about this um, special unit of lazy people, as you call it. Um, I believe you also gave testimony um, earlier that you thought that Vous nous aviez dit um, the majority of the people who were working in that unit were base people. Is that indeed your testimony? And can you tell us um, why um, you knew or how you, how you come to know that they were uh, in the majority base people in that special unit? Également, comment vous avez appris que la majeure partie des personnes étaient membres du peuple de base? Answer. Réponse. To my observation, when I was in the voir, same unit as them, lorsque j'appartenais à cette unité, I uh, mentioned this point already. We had et comme je déjà dit, our own clothing for 17 April people, so we could recognize the 17 April people by their clothing. Donc facilement reconnaître le peuple du 17 avril. So it's on the basis of Question. the clothes that the people in that special unit were wearing that you are saying that the majority in that special unit for lazy people um, consisted of base people. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Um, do you remember the name Question. of the chief of vous souvenez -vous du um, nom this unit, du chef de ce groupe spécial? this special unit of lazy people? Cette unité des personnes paresseuses? Answer, I Réponse. do not know these individual names, but I could je recognize his face. Personne, je son do you remember or do you know um, to whom he himself had to report? Vous -vous, vous -vous uh, who à qui his superior was? Savez-vous qui était ses supérieurs hiérarchiques? Hmm? Answer, I do not know about it. Réponse, je n'en sais rien. Um, okay, thank you. Um, now let question. me get back to Bien, merci. the question about the approximately 97% of the workers who uh, were apparently uh, not to be considered lazy um, qui working at the dam. We listened to the audio uh, recording of your interview and um, we heard that you say at 
one particular time vous avez dit that un um, donné, if your group had finished the work si or not, uh, you, you could continue the work the next day um, uh, and that you were not forced uh, uh, and that you only were forced to work hard uh, and nothing else. Is that something that you said you remember saying to the investigators? Rien d'autre. Vous souvenez-vous avoir dit cela aux enquêteurs? Answer. It appears that I made Réponse. such statements. Oui, apparemment, j'ai fait cette déclaration. And we also heard you say Question. Um, that as, as long as the workers in your group was not lazy, um, were not lazy, paresseux, uh, then there would not be any problem uh, for them and for you. Is that correct as well? So as long as you're not lazy, no problem? Pouvez-vous confirmer cela? Du moment que vous n'étiez pas paresseux, il n'y avait pas de problème? But man, come here. Answer, yes, there is correct. Réponse. Nothing happened oui, to us. So is it then fair to conclude that 97% of the workers uh, at the dam site that you were working with in your unit had no problem? 97% des ouvriers qui travaillaient sur ce chantier n'avaient pas de problème. Answer. That is true. Uh, there was no exact. problem happening on the. Um, now, one or two questions, Question. Mr. Witness, about um, working times. Um, there, are, there is a witness, and one or two um, seem to have confirmed this that lunch, um, the lunch break, was between either 11 and 2 o'clock or 11 and 1 o'clock. Uh, is that a correct observation of these witnesses? Ces témoins ont-ils bien rapporté ce qu'il en était? Answer. Réponse. We rested from 11:30. Nous nous reposions entre 11 h from that time, we could have lunch. And uh, we nous had nous to resume our work at 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, some other witnesses Question. who have testified before the trial chamber um, last week have also um, told us that nous ont dit um, there was a break in the morning session, a break of about 15 minutes right in the middle of the morning session, uh, in the session before lunch. Um, is that correct as well? Avant la pause déjeuner. Is exact également? Answer, yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. There was a short break Il y avait une petite in between pause the, that time. À ce moment -là. Um, some witnesses have also given testimony about working at night. Question. Certains témoins uh, ont indiqué qu'ils travaillaient la nuit. Um, working at night was uh, occasional, Un only sometimes. And one also said um, that it was only lieu. Uh, there was only working at night when the moon was waxing. So um, about once a month. La lune était croissante. Is that your recollection as well? Une fois par mois. Um, your recollection about um, the times working uh, at night? Ce qui a été dit semble-t-il conforme à vos propres souvenirs par rapport au travail de nuit? Answer. For night shift, yes, Réponse. there were night shifts. Oui, et il fallait parfois travailler la nuit. And uh, when there was special case uh, uh, the light would be uh, turned on dans certains cas bien particulier le chantier était and allumé can you Éclairé. explain us when there would be such a, when there Question. would be a special case uh, under what circumstances Et nous dire would there be a special situation um, that would make the workers work at night vous étiez amené à travailler la nuit
ยึงอันซ่าเฮ้ยพงศ์ actually we did not know the special situation that the light was turned on nous ne savions pas pour quelle raison bien particulière les lumières étaient ainsi allumées thank you do you remember seeing heavy equipment at the dam site such as bulldozers des engins sur le chantier engins tels que shoving away soil qui aurait Des bulldozers qui auraient nivelé le terrain, par exemple. Never saw the heavy equipment. Je n'ai jamais vu de machinerie lourde sur le chantier. But after the collapse of 1979, I saw the heavy heavy machinery such as bulldozers or tractors in the forest. Que des bulldozers ou des tracteurs dans la forêt. And were these In your memory, the bulldozers and heavy equipment that had been left there by the authorities in the DK regime. Had they been left on place by the authorities of the Cambodian Democratic Republic? Answer. Yes, the government of the Democratic Cambodia left behind those heavy equipment when they were running away. And in your recollection, do you know what kind of heavy equipment it was that you saw? Were they bulldozers, etc.? What kind of machinery did you see? D'autres types d'engins? Qu'avez-vous vu exactement? Answer. I noticed there were bulldozers. J'ai constaté qu'il y avait des bulldozers. And the excavator or excavators. Il y avait également des pelleteurs. And the materials. I mean the iron or steel materials. Ainsi que des matériaux comme de l'acier et du fer. During the time that you worked at the first January dam work site, did you ever see the equipment that was left there by the authorities on the 1st of January? Did you ever see soil collapse? Did you ever see soil subsequently burying workers? Or did you never see that? Did you ever see soil collapse? Did you ever see soil collapse? Did you ever Avez-vous vu quoi que ce soit de similaire Answer. I never saw soil collapse, but I heard it happened at another place. 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 So I collapsed at the major work site where the earth was buried under the soil. Was the earth buried under the soil? 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 Lorsque vous travaillez là-bas, avez-vous vu que l'on utilisait des explosifs pour travailler un peu la roche Réponse. Ils n'ont jamais utilisé d'explosifs, quels qu'ils soient. Returning again to the food situation in your unit that worked at the dam, do you know who was responsible for that work at the dam? Do you know who was responsible for bringing the food 
at qui était uh, chargé d'apporter les vivres sur le chantier Who was responsible for the food logistics? Qui s'occupait de la logistique liée à la nourriture? Answer. For growers and the food situation, Pour ce qui est de la bouillie, we de la situation walk through the hall to eat. Nous devions nous rendre au réfectoire no pour manger. Personne n'apportait de la nourriture sur le chantier. And, uh, the dining hall was about one le réfectoire away se trouvait à environ un kilomètre du chantier. I um, but Question. Do you know, Je comprends. Uh, who brought the food Mais savez-vous qui hall, apportait la nourriture uh, au eating? réfectoire, How did the food là où tout le monde mangeait Savez-vous comment that la nourriture était transportée hall? sur place Et savez-vous qui était responsable Answer. Réponse. No one transported food to that place. Personne ne transportait We, de la nourriture à cet endroit. Uh, had a container with us and we went to the kitchen and uh, nous avions un récipient at that place we could nous get la cuisine food. et c'est là que l'on nous donnait à manger I apologize maybe my question, question. is not very clear um, que ma question I'm, I'm trying to find out clair. how the food that you ate had gotten there comment la nourriture que vous absorbiez arrivait sur place it, um, to the place j'essaie de savoir qui était chargé d'apporter la nourriture et d'où venait la nourriture No. Answer. Réponse. There was a chief of uh, logistic Il y avait un at chef the question logistics au Sankat. And there was a warehouse keeping rice. Il y avait un entrepôt dans lequel l'on le, conservait le riz. Cooks of units would go and Les fetch the amount of rice chercher la quantité des given nécessaires de riz by that uh, chief. Auprès de ce chef. And as for gruel, et pour pour ce qui est de la bouillie, qui when était donnée uh, it was ouvriers, time to have meal we would uh, bring our container to the dining hall and get our gruel. au réfectoire pour que l'on y verse la bouillie um, this uh, logistics chief Question. was he coming from the sector or was he coming si from, the, from a district de la logistique venait du secteur ou du district Answer. Réponse. I heard of his name and uh, he was living close nom. to a place where I uh, was living. Actually, this individual was a female and her name was Night. She uh, joined the uh, movement and as a result, le he was appointed to be the chief. Était nommé chef. I mean, logistic chief. Chef de la logistique. So this this female Question. cadre was responsible for Cette femme, cadre, um, the five or six hundred people était donc that were working des 500 ou 600 personnes uh, together. Qui Is that correct? Ensemble, est-ce exact? Answer. She was in charge of Réponse. the logistic for Elle était responsable the Sankat. Pour le Sankat. And in Sankat, there were uh, three units. Au sein du Sankat, il y avait trois uh, units unités. of um, male worker, female, and uh, youth hommes, units. And uh, the numbers, the composition of jeunes. those units. Over of uh, five to six hundred members. Et ces unités comptaient 500 ou 600 membres. Is this um, female cadre that Question. you just mentioned Cette femme still alive today? Que vous venez de mentionner est-elle encore en vie?
answer. She passed away Réponse. in 1980. Elle est décédée en 1980. Um, this morning, we spoke. You spoke briefly question. about um, a militia man named Loon. Um, I believe you also said this morning that um, you rarely saw him at the dam. Um, he himself gave testimony to investigators and he said that he had never been uh, at the dam. Can you try to recollect if you ever saw him at the dam and if yes, when that was? Si vous bien vu sur le chantier? De qui il Answer. I told the court already this morning most Comme of the time he was working matin, in villages. Il travaillait dans les villages. I rarely saw him at the 1st January dam site. I uh, noticed his presence only janvier. one time and I je did not know uh, why he was there. Et je ne sais pas pourquoi il était là-bas. Yes. Uh, do you remember where you saw him, um, under what, Question. under which circumstances? Vous vous um, did he just pass by, or can you give us a little more passer? detail? President, please hold on, uh, Mr. Witness. You may not proceed. Le National Deputy Co Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I just wanted to correct what I think is an inaccurate characterization of the statement that Lynn gave. There is a point in his statement at which he says that he was never sent to guard the 1st January Dam. Il lui a dit qu'il n'avait jamais été envoyé. But he also says that he saw Kai Pok come to inspect the 1st January Dam. Il est également que and that he was tasked with carrying earth at that construction site for three months. Sur le chantier pendant trois mois. So the statement is not that he was never there. Donc il the statement pas dit is that he was there for three months. Au contraire, il y serait resté trois mois. Um, yes, I think. It's, he, he seems to limit it to guard. Um, Question. But the point was, where, was, was, was more, uh, Mr. President, to chantier. ask the witness uh, when, he's, when he says rarely what that means. Uh, so I, I retract and um, ask the, the witness some more. would like to ask the witness some more details about the word rarely. So it was once um, that you saw him. What else do you remember of this one occasion? Pourriez-vous nous donner d'autres détails au sujet de cette fois-là Answer. I saw him pass by. Réponse. He uh, uh, was in charge of uh, people in Sao village. Il so he could walk past to uh, the work site Et where his uh, people barrage, uh, were chantier, working. Là où Perhaps he went there to visit his uh, workers from Gongsal village. Um, thank you, um, Mr. Witness. Question. Moving Merci, on to a next moi. subject. Um, this morning you said that you overheard Ce matin, um, vous avez dit people say something about um, two, two or three workers 
um, being taken away and uh, thrown in a, in a well and, and, and killed. Dans un puits um, après avoir été do you know the names of the people that you overheard? Vous souvenez-vous des noms des gens que vous avez ainsi entendu s'exprimer Answer, I could recall their names and uh, Réponse. they were the uh, chiefs of uh, youth units. They are all alive. They are alive. Ils sont en vie. Do, do you know Question. how they knew about the fate of these uh, workers? Had they seen it themselves or had they in their, in, in their turn subsequently heard it as well, hear it as well, or do you, do you know the source of um, their apparent knowledge of the fate of these people? Comment ils avaient appris apparemment ce qui était arrivé à ces ouvriers? Answer, I do not know. Réponse, je ne sais pas. I only overheard about that. Je n'ai fait que les entendre parler de cela. Do you remember, I realize it's a long time ago, but do you Question. remember their exact words? Do you remember exactly what you overheard? Exactement de ce qu'ils ont dit, de ce que vous avez entendu. Okay. Answer. They said Réponse. that keeping is no gain, taking away is no loss. They used this kind of saying at that time. C'est ce qu'ils disaient à l'époque. C'était le genre de. It was better to smash one uh, than uh, keeping uh, another one by mistake. Il valait mieux également écraser quelqu'un par erreur que le garder par I erreur. Understand, but that sounds very general. Um, Maître Copé, je comprends, mais ce que vous nous dites très général. Auriez-vous quelque chose de plus précis about these two or three à nous dire par rapport à ces deux um, ou trois ouvriers Details as to which well, what time, thrown in by whom, dans quel puits ils avaient uh, why, été jetés, à quelle heure, any par specific detail. qui les y avait jetés. Pourriez-vous nous donner des détails Answer. I do not recall it well. When Réponse. I overheard Je ne m'en souviens it. pas très bien. Some, some I would like you to repeat your question. Pourriez-vous répéter votre question, s'il vous plaît? Um, my question is about um, any ma detail sur le détail you might remember about this conversation that you said you overheard. Um, did they say uh, which well these two workers were thrown in by whom? At what time? Dans quel puits ces um, ouvriers avaient-ils été jetés? Par qui? À quelle heure? Pourquoi? Did you hear Quels anything specific? Détails pourriez-vous nous livrer au sujet de ce que vous avez entendu? Do not recall the content of the statement. I only overheard that uh, last night two and or three people were thrown into a well, and I did not know the whereabouts of the well they were referring to. Um, I'll move on to my last questions, um, Mr. Witness. Um, you spoke briefly this morning about a visit of a Chinese delegation. Um, do you know anything more specific? Do you know any names of Chinese leaders that came uh, visiting the 1st January Dam? 
qui serait venu en visite au barrage du 1er janvier. Harder on that day. There were many workers at the time, and I was at a far distance from the location of the delegation. De là où se trouvait la délégation. Question. You were instructed to work harder when the delegation was visiting. Were you also instructed to put more soil in the baskets? and to run with the soil rather than to walk. Yes, on the day that we were to receive the delegation, we acted actively and we worked harder than the normal days that we worked. And did that also include putting some extra soil in the baskets that, uh, that you were carrying? Et notamment le fait que vous deviez rajouter de la terre et porter davantage de terre dans les paniers que vous transportiez. Yes, our baskets were uh, fully loaded and we had to carry it uh, quicker. Réponse oui, nos paniers étaient pleins et nous devions And le actually, it was a self-conscious act. Because we were actually told by the, our uh, unit chief to work a bit harder on that particular day, and it lasted for only a few hours. It's maybe a little bit difficult question that I'm going to ask you, but um, would it be possible um, for you to make a distinction in the amount of soil in terms of kilos that you would put on a normal day on your basket and on your basket in those few hours that a foreign delegation came to visit. Would you be able to make such an estimate? Yes, I could. On the normal working day, we put the, the, the dirt up to the, the rim of the basket, but on that particular day, we loaded a bit more soil onto the basket. Mais ce jour-là, nous mettions plus de terre, nous le chargions plus. It's a long time ago, I understand, but are you able to estimate how many kilos of soil Question. you would typically carry? It is uh, difficult to give you an estimate. I understand. I understand. Um, my last question, um, Mr. Witness, do you know why the first January dam and the sixth January dam uh, got their respective names? Why were the dams called the first January dam and the sixth January dam? Do you know? I am not sure on that. Réponse, je n'en suis pas certain. 
Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, I'm looking at my national colleague. Uh, we're done. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you, the Chamber. Now hand to the floor to Kiev's opponents' defense. You can proceed, the Council. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, um, bonjour, uh, Monsieur Good, Tseng. Uh, je m'appelle uh, Antaguissé, je suis co-avocat international de Monsieur Kiosampan. Je vais vous poser uh, quelques Mr. brèves uh, questions brief uh, pour avoir certaines précisions sur votre déposition. J'ai cru comprendre de votre déposition que... Um, that, um, au moment de l'inauguration du When barrage du 1er janvier, vous aviez déjà commencé à travailler sur ce barrage. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Et j'ai compris aussi que vous avez travaillé euh, pendant une durée peut-être un petit peu inférieure à trois mois. Ma question est donc la suivante. Est-ce que, après avoir fini de travailler sur euh, le barrage du 1er janvier, vous avez été amené à retourner euh, sur les lieux en cours de travaux ou à la fin euh, des travaux sur ce barrage I went back before the completion of the dam, the project. J'avais bien compris ce point. En fait, ma question, c'est de savoir si, après avoir fini de travailler sur ce barrage, vous êtes revenu sur ce barrage pour une raison ou pour une autre, notamment, par exemple, euh, s'il y a eu une cérémonie à exemple, la fin, à l'issue des travaux sur ce barrage. Was a ceremony when the dam was completed. When the project was concluded, I did not return to the site. Je ne suis pas retourné sur le site. Vous avez euh, indiqué que euh, said, um, ce barrage était that, um, assez grand, qu'il euh, avec les canaux, en tout cas, qu'il euh, s'étendait sur plusieurs kilomètres. Est-ce qu'il est dans ces conditions exactes de dire many, many que vous-même, so quand vous avez travaillé sur ce barrage, vous n'étiez que dam, sur un site particulier, sur ce grand chantier, site. et que vous n'avez pas visité les autres sites uh, un peu plus éloignés de ce chantier further away uh, from uh, the work site where you were. Je vais peut-être poser euh, <rire> ma question différemment parce qu'apparemment, je n'ai pas de réponse de votre part. Not, uh, Donc, ma question, so question est de savoir fact, si nous sommes bien d'accord que that, lorsque vous avez travaillé sur ce chantier du site du barrage du 1er janvier, vous n'avez travaillé que sur une partie de ce chantier, que vous n'avez pas visité toutes uh, les parties sur les plusieurs dizaines de kilomètres que composait ce barrage. But man. Yes, that is correct. I agree to your statement. Et pour rebondir sur And, um, ce que vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure à mon confrère, vous avez indiqué que colleague, uh, vous, sur votre partie that, uh, uh, du chantier sur lequel vous avez travaillé, vous n'aviez pas vu de machine, mais vous avez indiqué machines. que après But la fin du régime, vous en avez vu dans la forêt. Donc, ma question est la so suivante. Est-ce que nous sommes d'accord pour dire que il est possible 
euh, que euh, sur votre euh, partie du chantier euh, des euh, machines n'aient pas, pas été utilisées, pardon, mais que sur d'autres parties du chantier, il y a pu avoir l'utilisation des machines sans que vous même n'ayez pu les voir. I don't know about that because we were far away from one another and after the fall of the regime in 1979, I saw some heavy machinery including bulldozers and a workshop with spare parts. C'est précisément là où je veux en venir. Dans votre déclaration E3-5267, ERN en français 00482-932, ERN en Khmer 00271407. Et URN en anglais 00282354. Voilà ce qui a été noté dans votre déclaration. Ce barrage-là a été construit en terre uniquement et à la force humaine. Fin de citation. De ce que vous avez indiqué sur les machines que vous avez vues, sur aussi la remarque faite. Par un monsieur le juge Lavergne sur le fait que au moins le mur du barrage avait été fait euh, en ciment et avec euh, des barres de fer. On est d'accord que lorsque vous dites ce barrage-là a été construit en terre uniquement et à la force humaine, vous vous parlez de la partie sur laquelle vous avez travaillé. Lorsque nous travaillions là-bas, nous avons entendu parler of the dam, although we did not uh, see it personally. Nous ne l'avons pas vu de nos propres yeux. Um, un autre point que je voudrais aborder avec vous, c'est euh, les réunions que vous avez évoquées. Euh, vous avez euh, parlé de réunions en fin de journée euh, après votre travail euh, sur le barrage. Et euh, je voudrais savoir si, euh, au cours de l'une de ces réunions, votre chef d'unité ou quelqu'un d'autre aurait expliqué pourquoi euh, ce barrage était construit. Euh, vous avez évoqué avec mon euh, confrère tout à l'heure euh, le fait que ce barrage avait été utile euh, après, 60, fin, après 78 et euh, jusqu'aux années 90. Donc ma question est de savoir si pendant euh, ces réunions que vous aviez sur le chantier, on vous a expliqué euh, l'intérêt de ce barrage ou pas. They did not tell us about the juice or the benefit of the dam. What they actually told us was for us to strive hard in our work. Et vous qui avez assisté à l'inauguration de ce barrage, est-ce que euh, vous avez indiqué pardon, que même si vous étiez loin, vous aviez entendu euh, certains discours et certaines présentations euh, euh, par haut-parleur Est-ce que euh, ce jour-là, on a expliqué l'intérêt de ce barrage ou est-ce que vous ne vous en souvenez pas
Yes, uh, simply put, I cannot recall it, although I heard uh, something from uh, a distance. Simplement, je, je me rappelle de certaines choses que j'ai entendues de loin. Il n'y a pas de souci si vous ne vous en souvenez pas. Je ne no vais problem. pas vous embêter remember, plus uh, avant. Uh, um, je voudrais this. revenir uh, like sur uh, to get back to votre uh, déclaration your... devant les coaches d'instruction et sur un point que vous avez euh, commencé à aborder avec mon confrère, euh, mais je voudrais euh, plus précisément euh, revisiter avec vous ce que vous avez exactement dit lors de euh, votre entretien avec euh, les enquêteurs, puisque nous avons la transcription officielle d'une partie de cette interview, et euh, je voudrais vous soumettre euh, certains points euh, en vous relisant vos, vos déclarations et vous poser ensuite des questions. You, uh, questions about Il s'agit du document so D166.82.1 ERN en français 01101656 ERN en Khmer 01105 97 et euh, il n'y a pas euh, de transcription en anglais no mais English, euh, il s'agit donc de la transcription version, du document audio D166-82 et euh, les passages qui m'intéressent se trouvent entre 1h33 et 25 secondes et 1h35 et 30 secondes vous avez abordé ce point encore une fois avec euh, mon confrère, mais je voudrais vous soumettre exactement ce que vous avez euh, indiqué ce jour-là. Voilà la question qui vous est posée à propos de l'organisation euh, du travail au sein de votre groupe. La question de l'enquêteur M. Hoy est la suivante. Mais une fois réparti en sous-groupe, Comment était attribué le quota de travail de chacun de leurs membres Combien de mètres cubes de terre devait transporter chacun des groupes de trois personnes Votre réponse a été la suivante. Cela variait en fonction de la taille du canal en question. On estimait que chacun devait au moins creuser un mètre cube de terre par jour. L'enquêteur poursuit ses questions. Mais vous, personnellement, combien de mètres cubes de terre deviez-vous transporter par jour Vous répondez « par jour » et l'enquêteur poursuit. Vous en, vous en souvenez-vous encore Et là, votre réponse est la suivante. Chacun devait transporter un mètre de terre par jour sur la longueur du canal. Si nous n'arrivions pas à le faire, nous n'avions qu'à continuer à travailler normalement. Or, il n'était pas utile de faire preuve d'hypocrisie au travail, puisqu'on ne nous faisait rien de mal. Comme nous ne pouvions pas finir le quota imposé, il fallait continuer le lendemain. Fin de citation. Ma première question par rapport à euh, cette, euh, ce premier extrait est de savoir, déjà si vous vous souvenez bien avoir dit ça, et si vous confirmez que euh, lorsque vous ne pouviez pas finir le quota, il fallait continuer le lendemain. ซอมเมจิอุกาเดยมนิยมในใจ And the embankment itself was only about uh, one meter wide. But I, this is not about the first January Dam work site. For the first January Dam work site, our unit was subdivided into three groups, and we had to do the work collectively per group. And when I refer to the uh, 
one meter long of soil that we had to carry, I refer to a separate work site for smaller canals, and the depth varied. Alors, ma question va être plus précisément sur une autre partie pour savoir si on est bien d'accord. Plus loin sur ce même enregistrement, vous avez indiqué la chose suivante. Le quota de travail était par exemple organisé comme suit. Si un sous-groupe recevait un quota de 3 mètres de terre à transporter, il fallait donc que ces trois membres s'y mettent ensemble. The three members would have to question work together. de l'enquêteur, so tous les trois, All three of them. et votre réponse, answer, si on n'arrivait pas à finir, vous pouvez continuer le lendemain job, sans contrainte, à moins qu'on ne fasse preuve de persévérance dans notre travail. Fin de citation. Ma question est la End suivante. Là encore, est-ce que vous parlez so des canaux again, qui ne sont pas en lien avec le barrage du 1er janvier, ou est-ce que... Ce, ces consignes-là, le fait de these, faire un travail de groupe et d'avoir un quota pour l'ensemble du groupe, correspond également à votre travail sur le barrage du 1er janvier. Do these directions correspond to your work on the 1 January dam? For the first January dam uh, project. Pour le projet du barrage du 1er My janvier, unit was subdivided into three uh, groups, and as I said, we worked dit, collectively, le travail était collectif. and we tried our best whether we could complete the daily quota or not, and if we could not finish it, we had to si continue working it the next day, compound it with the new quota for the next demain. day en essayant de compenser au vu du nouveau quota. Et hein, est-il exact que And pour vous, euh, il était compliqué d'évaluer exactement you, quel était le mètre cube exactly euh, de quota euh, attribué euh, euh, au groupe, affecté au groupe what the quota meant. We continued digging, uh, and we did not stop. Nous avons continué de creuser. Nous ne nous sommes pas arrêtés. We had to work to the best of our knowledge, and although we completed the uh, daily quota, we didn't uh, rest earlier. We had to continue working until the end of the working hours. So it means that we had to work actively from the start of the working hours until the end of the working hours. J'ai bien compris cette partie de votre déposition, monsieur le témoin, mais ma question, elle est différente. J'ai compris que vous avez travaillé de votre mieux. Ma question est de savoir si vous étiez en mesure d'évaluer ce que ça voulait dire en mètre cube. Vous contentiez de creuser ça, j'ai bien compris. Est-ce que vous êtes en mesure de dire quel était le volume en mètre cube Ou est-ce que vous n'êtes pas en mesure Et là, il n'y a pas de problème, je passe à un, un autre point. The work plan to be received from uh, the worker regiment, for instance, uh, a number of meters that we had uh, to, to dig, then de la façon dont nous devions the work plan was subdivided into three uh, groups, and each group had to work collectively to complete the, the quota. And of course, I could not tell you the volume of the cubic meter that each group had to dig uh, collectively. Je vous remercie, c'est exactement l'objet de, de ma question. Un... Dernier point que je voudrais aborder avec vous, vous avez évoqué un certain Lune 
Lone avec M. le coprocureur et tout à l'heure avec mon confrère. J'ai cru comprendre de votre déposition que vous avez indiqué que ce Lone serait mort il y a trois ou quatre ans. C'est ce que j'ai noté dans mes notes. Est-ce que vous confirmez ce point ou est-ce qu'on a mal compris votre déposition I never said that he passed away. However, he disappeared after he was released from prison in 1979. I met him briefly after he his release, and from 1980 he disappeared as he didn't dare to stay in his village. And Since then, I have never met him, and I learned that he tries to avoid a meeting with the Tamok, but I do not know whether he is dead or alive. Or maybe I, I cannot forget what I said. Et pour rebondir sur une des questions posées par mon confrère tout à l'heure, est-ce que pendant la période où vous avez été euh, sur le barrage, vous l'avez vu à un moment ou à un autre faire partie des unités qui creusaient les canaux sur le barrage du 1er janvier. If I saw them, I saw them walking briefly. But I did not know whether they belonged to any unit. Vous parlez, enfin, dans la traduction, j'ai un pluriel. Est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer si vous parlez d'une seule personne ou de plusieurs personnes Moi, ma question elle était sur Lun. I only refer to uh, one person. Je ne faisais référence qu'à une seule personne. Et est-ce que vous savez si des mi les miliciens euh, de votre commune you know ont, à un moment ou à un autre, été affectés euh, aux travaux sur euh, les canaux du barrage du 1er janvier À the first January dam work site at any point in time. I am unsure uh, on this point. Je ne suis pas certain. Je n'en suis pas sûr. Et dernière, dernière question avant de céder la parole à mon confrère Kong Samon qui a également quelques brèves questions. Le jour où vous avez vu euh, l'aune sur le barrage du 1er janvier, vous ne l'avez pas vu en train de creuser la terre. Transporting Earth. Yes, I saw him briefly walking uh, past by where I worked. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions et je cède la parole à mon frère Kongsamo. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions sur le witness. Je vais maintenant donner la parole à mon collègue Kongsamo. I have some questions that I seek, uh, need to seek your clarification. As for your date of birth, you said you came to study in Phnom Penh, and after the 17 April 1975 liberation, you returned to your native village. And that it was in Kansai village, Kampung Thmo, Santok, Kampung Thom province. My question to you is the uh, following. 
Were your parents and siblings staying in the village when you returned? Demeurait-il au village lorsque vous êtes rentré? Answer: uh, During the war period of 1970s, pendant la my elder sister came to live in Phnom Penh with her husband and children, and my father also came along to live in Phnom Penh. I myself came with her. Je suis venu and avec elle. at the native, uh, my native village, only my other elder sister and my mother lived there. Et ma mère dans mon village natal. In on the 17 or 16 le April 1975, le 16 avril 1975, due to the overcrowded uh, number of people in the house. I actually uh, walked from Kirirum to my uncle's house in Tulko, and that happened on the 15th, and on the 16th there were heavy aerial bombardments, and on the 17th, the five of us packed our belongings and food, and we were told to leave Phnom Penh for two or three days, so we did. And we were on route, uh, National Road Number 5, and it took us one full month to reach Kampung Thmo. And I didn't know the whereabouts of my other sister then. Question, and allow me to clarify it based on your statement. There were uh, two uh, groups. Monsieur One was group, the best uh, people, donc, including your groupes, mother and your other sister. As for you and your father, you were both of you were considered 17 April vous people. Am I correct? Answer: Yes, that is correct. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. Question regarding Question. food ration. S'agissant des rations alimentaires. While you worked in your unit, were the seventeen April workers ate communally uh, with the best people or were you given a separate kind of food? Answer, in our Réponse. second duty regiment and there were hundreds of us there, Nous étions des centaines au sein de l'unité des jeunes. There was only one dining hall. Il n'y avait qu'un réfectoire. And everyone received the same food supply from the kitchen. We were given our individual food ration and we could eat wherever we we we. We could. Et nous essayons d'aller manger dans the area of the kitchen. Question. So they cook, they cook prepared Question. food, and then each worker will be given a set of daily food ration. Am I correct? Ration. Chaque jour. Est-ce exact? Answer: Yes, that is correct. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. Question. Also, again, on the issue of food uh, ration. Question. Toujours à propos Did des the cook prepare separate food for Le cuisinier. the best people? Faisait-il cuire? And the 17 April people, or le peuple de base et pour was le peuple the food nouveau? given to each worker prepared and cooked in the same cooking pot? destinée au peuple nouveau et au peuple de base était-elle cuite dans la même marmite Answer. 
the food was from the same réponse. cooking pot. Tout était However, dans la for the best people or chief of unit or Néanmoins, chief of a regiment, the person who was in charge of for the economic was also a best person. So we noticed that sometimes two letters of a food were given to a best person and for the 17 every people we were only given one letter each. Le peuple du 17 avril ne recevait qu'une louche chacun. Question. And did you observe Question. that there was any protest to this uneven food distribution? Protestaient par rapport à cette à cette distribution inique. Answer: No one dared to Réponse. challenge non. food ration. Personne n'osait remettre en cause les rations alimentaires. Question. Can you tell the court if uh, you observe that 17 happy workers si received uh, less food than the best people who worked in the same unit? I mean, if you know the names unité. of the uh, 17 happy people who worked in the same unit? De ces personnes du 17 avril qui travaillaient au sein de la même unité? And so I uh, cannot remember the names. However, when we, we went to receive the, our food, there was a crowd of workers swarmed uh, the kitchen area. And of course, the, the cook and the people who were distributing the food could recognize who were the 17 every people and who were the best people. And as I said earlier, they specifically made such identification based on the clothes that we were wearing. Question. So, based on Question. your statement, Food distribution was at the sole discretion of uh, the cook or the food the distributor, so to say. Donc uniquement and there was de no instruction from the upper echelon regulating this uneven food distribution amongst the old and the uh, new people. De la nourriture entre de base and so et there was no instruction from the Réponse. above. Non, les However, it was those people who worked in the economic section les gens qui and au sein de the section chief of the duty regiment who made uh, such instructions. Avait donné ces instructions. Question. You said that uh, you belong to the second duty regiment. Vous appartenez au deuxième régiment did the regiment belong to, to the district, sector, or zone? Relevez-vous du district, du secteur ou de la zone? Answer: Our uh, unit belongs to Réponse. the compartment commune and not to uh, the district or the province or the sector. Non pas du district, de la province ni du secteur. Question. In relation to what Barai Chuan Chuan Dai Pagoda, but you said uh, Barai Som Dai Pagoda. Can you tell us the difference in uh, the, the two names? Mentioned two names. President, Mr. Witness, please observe the microphone. Le président, veuillez faire attention au micro, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur le témoin. Witness. Le témoin. In writing, it is read Barai Chuan Dai, but uh, in the spoken form, it's Barai Sandai. It's like uh, Tro So, which refers to cucumber, but in the spoken form, it is uh, pronounced Tso. Question. 
question. In relation to the written record of interview that is T3, E3 slash 5267, and on the Khmer EN page 0027-1412, and English 0028-23-5888. And in French, 0, 0, 4, 8, Et en français, 0, 0, 2, 4, 8, 9, 3, 2, 9, 6, 3, 6. And I'd like to make a quote from the statement. Je vais citer un passage de votre déposition. About senior leaders, uh, whether they came to inspect uh, the website si and to so respond. And let me quote The leader of Vous the zone, Kaipo, came once to inaugurate the first and then website. Le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier. End of quote. Fin de citation. Was Skyperk the zone leader? Kepok, était-il le dirigeant de la zone? Was the one who zone? actually came to inaugurate uh, the first year of the website? Or was janvier? someone else who Ou inaugurated the website? Answer. During the inauguration day, we were told that Sini uh, Anka uh, came to inaugurate the first January Dam website, and there were also Chinese uh, visitors. Il y avait également des visiteurs chinois. And uh, from that day, I heard of that uh, name, that is uh, Kai Po. Et c'est ce jour-là que j'ai entendu mentionner and le nom I de Kai Po. I do not know who else uh, came to inaugurate the website on that day. Qui d'autre est venu inaugurer le barrage ce jour-là? Question. How did you know that uh, Kai Po came to Comment inaugurate the first Yuri Dam website? Inaugurer le chantier du barrage? Answer. Ta Tapok had a house. Tapok had une maison at the first January Day work site, and he Sur frequently came to the, uh, to the work site. Therefore, I heard of his Il name rather often at the time. Son nom, However, non assez I did not see him physically. Néanmoins, je ne l'ai pas vu physiquement Question. pour le chantier. You spoke Question. at length about your work at the first Stenery Dam work site and uh, that also you worked at various other uh, canal work sites at the commune chantiers, une construction de canaux and you commune. also told the court about the Vous total length of the first January Dam work site and the sixth January Dam work site, which is roughly 60 kilometers. Can you tell the court where and where the first January Dam started dire à la chambre and where à it ended? On a commencé les travaux et où, et où ces travaux ont pris fin? Answer. Yes, I Réponse. can do that. Oui. However, only by 1990 did I learn uh, about the length of the first January Dam website. Appris combien ce chantier, as we did ce the uh, measurement. And actually, the, the dam was built to block uh, the water from the first and the, the sixth January Dam canals. And we did the measurement for the entire uh, length of the dam, and it ran up to 60 kilometers. 
However, during the red team while I was working there, I did not know anything at all about the, the length of the, the dam or where it was uh, heading through. Question. Can you uh, tell the court uh, just about the first January dam, where it starts and where it ends? from the uh, start of the uh, main construction of the uh, Tense Lucy's uh, water gate. To Barai district, it runs 33 kilometers, that is uh, towards the uh, Kampung Cham, towards the border of the Kampung Cham, a province and it runs uh, through the other side as well. Question. And where did you work? Uh, at which segment Question. of the dam did you work during the UK period? Du barrage travaillez-vous sous le Kampuchea démocratique? And so, yes, I remember that. Réponse. I oui, je work at an area called Bai Kaung. At Bai Kaung. There was a construction there called uh, Tukbul, and from that point, we, the second duty regiment, were responsible for some length of uh, the, the building of the uh, dam. Dans la construction du barrage. Question. I have a last question, question to you in relation to a person named Lun. En lien avec la personne de nommer Lun. You confirmed that Lun was a militia man. Lun était un militia. And his work in, involved her in the arrest of a certain individuals. Vous avez dit qu'il était impliqué dans l'arrestation de certaines personnes. Lun was arrested by the by a judicial authority and detained. Les autorités judiciaires ont arrêté cette personne et l'ont détenu. Can you tell the court when he was detained? Pouvez-vous nous dire how long pourquoi il a été détenu? Was he detained? Et combien de temps? Answer. I cannot recall when Lun was Réponse. arrested. Je ne me souviens pas du moment où Lun a été However, arrêté. when I uh, met inmates from uh, Kampong Tom prison, who told me that Lun de la prison de Kampong Tom had been arrested and detained, and I said, arrêté, if there is a case then, he would survive, Et as he would avoid her uh, il avait survécu revenge, uh, by villagers. ainsi, parce qu'il avait évité d'être soumis à la, au désir de revanche, And de vengeance des villageois. He released, he came to attend a, a musical performance libéré, for a wedding around 1985 or 86. And during that period, he noticed that there were many former 17 April workers, a uh, uh, people resided in the village, so he was scared, and village, I never saw him coming to the village again. Question, and can you call, recall exactly as to when Lun disappeared uh, from uh, your village before he was detained. Avant President, uh, Mr. Witness, please observe the microphone. Le Monsieur le témoin, veuillez faire attention au micro, s'il vous plaît. Witness. Le témoin. During the late 1978, Fin 1978. I heard uh, about the activities uh, in uh, the army. J'ai entendu parler des activités de l'armée. At the commune, started uh, to flee, Les and some uh, workers from the youth regiments that I worked Les in also returned to their respective. Uh, Homes in the village. Sont chez eux. 
dans leurs villages respectifs. Council, thank you, Mr. Otsen and Mr. President. Merci, I Mr. Otsen. Monsieur le Président, j'en ai terminé. President, uh, thank you. Monsieur le Président, merci. Today, sir, Rosidi has come to an adjournment today and the reserve witness through TCW887 has some health issues due to long travel today. So we cannot comment hearing the testimony this afternoon. Therefore, we adjourn for today's proceedings and resume it tomorrow, that is 4th June 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, the Chamber will hear testimony of a witness, that is through TCW887. This information is for the concerned parties and the public. And Mr. Otsen, Monsieur the Chamber is grateful of your presence and time to testify before us. Your testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this matter, and you are no longer required to be present in the courtroom. Therefore, you may return to wherever you wish to go. We wish you all the best. And bon nous vous souhaitons une bonne continuation et un bon voyage de retour chez vous. In collaboration with Wissou, please make, make necessary transportation for Mr. Otseng to return to. And security personnel, you are instructed to take the two accused, Nunji and Kilsen Pond, back to the detention facility and have them return to attend to the proceedings tomorrow before Demain, 9 o'clock in the morning. Heure. The court is now adjourned.